Borderline Diabetic Are you borderline diabetic? Have you been told by your doctor that you are a borderline diabetic? What does borderline diabetic mean? The term borderline diabetic is associated with the term glucose intolerant or impaired glucose tolerance. Thanks for watching. Welcome to Master Health Media channel. Subscribe, hit the bell icon, make a comment, share. Please and thanks. Person who is borderline diabetic does not have to worry about monitoring their sugar levels daily like type 1 and 2 diabetics. A person who is borderline diabetic has a fasting glucose level of around 110. If you have been diagnosed as a borderline diabetic, you will most likely be referred to a dietitian. A dietitian will educate you on healthier eating habits. You will also be placed on a diet plan. Depending on the type of diabetes you have, you will either have your sugar intake drastically reduced, increased, or staggered to prevent spikes. You will also be placed on an exercise program. Exercising does not only consist of joining a local gym. Walking is great exercise. The average person exercises three to four times a week. If you are not maintaining at least this level of exercise, then you your blood sugar may be unstable. Research shows that a borderline diabetes symptom could actually be impaired glucose tolerance, insulin resistance, or type 2 diabetes. What causes this glucose intolerance? According to Christia.com, it is the product of high insulin rejection, which forces your blood sugar to react by to skyrocketing to move glucose. This has been linked to secondary problems, including clogged arteries. Each diabetes symptoms are different for different each type of diabetes. The symptoms normally come on quickly and are known to be severe. Another system is prodigious thirst and hunger with dry mouth. A person with symptoms may suddenly lose weight and feel anemic. The key to healthy living is to remain active. Diabetic. As you get older your chances of getting a diabetic disorder increase. If you have any elderly relatives, the chance of some of them having diabetes is very high. There are many different therapies, services, and products related to the disease. Diabetes is a disease that deals with the amount of blood sugar in the blood. If you don't know so much about the disease, you should get on the World Wide Web and find out some important information on the subject. If you have one of the many diabetic symptoms, you may be in need of medical treatment. One of the chief concerns could be the diabetic food pyramid and adhering to its recommendations. This chart will guide you to the best eating habits to keep your diabetes in check. His is all part of the diabetic diet plan, which exists to keep you away from sugar. In order to maintain this separation from sugar, you should mostly eat diabetic food. If you like to cook, you can always purchase cookbooks on diabetic cooking. If you chance it and have something with sugar, you might need diabetic supply testing to check your blood sugar. Diabetic retinopathy is an eye disease caused by diabetes and can cause blindness. If you have this condition, you should seek medical attention immediately. Another condition brought on by diabetes is diabetic ketoacidosis. This condition involves a lack of insulin augmented by hyperglycemia and other metabolic problems. Diabetic neuropathy results in loss of sensation in the nerves of the body. If you have diabetes, you might want to try a pair of diabetic shoes. This form of footwear will enable you to walk a bit more pain-free if you have the disease. Diabetes is a common disease. Each year, more and more Americans are stricken with the disease. If you have diabetes, you have to monitor your condition. Failure to do so may result in serious complications. Be sure to read the available literature on the topic and search the web for other resources. Diabetes is a manageable condition as long as you learn how to manage it. Diabetic Cooking Top Diabetic Cooking Recipes for Breakfast, Lunch and Dinner If you are a diabetic, your meal plan doesn't have to limit your diabetic cooking options. There are still many foods and cooking options open to diabetics. Consider the following top diabetic cooking recipes when preparing your next breakfast, lunch or dinner. For breakfast, consider the diabetic cooking recipe for blueberry pancakes. 
A typical recipe will serve 10 pancakes so you can make enough for the whole family to enjoy. In a typical recipe will yield blueberry pancakes that each contain 70 calories, 15 grams of carbohydrates, 5 grams of protein, zero cholesterol, 30 to 50 milligrams of dietary fiber and 150 milligrams of sodium. For those using the exchange list the exchanges are half starch, half fruit. For lunch, a good option is the diabetic cooking recipe for old-fashioned potato salad. A typical recipe will give you 8 1-cup servings so you can either enjoy it with family and friends or you can refrigerate the leftovers for you next lunch. In 1 cup of potato salad, you will get about 200 calories, 5 to 10 grams of total fat with 2 to 5 grams from saturated fat, 25 grams of carbohydrates, 100 mg cholesterol, 700 mg sodium, 5 grams of protein and 2 to 3 grams of fiber. The exchanges are 1 and a half starch, 1 fat. For dinner, one of your options for diabetic cooking can be stuffed portobello mushrooms. A typical recipe will give you 4 servings. This recipe can also be used as a snack if you make them ahead of time and can be eaten with a small portion of chicken or steak. One stuffed mushroom has about 100 calories, 10 grams of protein, 5 grams of carbohydrates and 1 to 5 grams of fat. Another dinner option or as an addition to the stuffed portobello mushroom is salsa chicken. You can buy your supplies and cook enough chicken for however many people you are having for dinner. The nutrition in a serving of salsa chicken is around 250 calories, 35 grams of protein, 15 grams of carbohydrates, 10 grams of fat, 2 grams of saturated fat, 300 to 600 milligrams sodium, 80 milligrams cholesterol and 5 grams of fiber. Diabetic foods. Good diabetic foods to have on hand. If you have diabetes, eating health food every day is very important in maintaining a health diet. However, in order to eat healthy you must keep good diabetic food on hand at all times. The following is an idea of some diabetic food you should keep stocked on your shelves at home. Vinegar, cooking sprays and oils are good to keep on hand in case you need to cook a diabetic meal. For added health, benefits consider using healthy alternatives to regular oil and vinegars. In terms of grains good diabetic food to have on hand includes yellow and white cornmeal, couscous, millet, rolled oats, and white and brown rice. For beans, which are in the same food group as grains you, should have a variety on have such as navy, black, pinto and white. You should also have black-eyed peas and lentils on hand. The best diabetic food option for pasta is to have angel hair, bow ties, lasagna, linguine, penne and oriental rice sticks. If you like to bake them some good diabetic food to have on stock includes unbleached all-purpose flour, non-fat pancake mix, cornstarch, baking powder, baking soda, cocoa powder, salt and kosher salt, vanilla extract, sugar substitutes, brown sugar, honey and baker's spray. A good option is to have dried herbs and spices on hand to add extra flavor to your meals. These can include basil, dill, caraway seed, chili powder, ground cinnamon, cloves, curry powder, ginger, paprika, rosemary, sage, and thyme. In your refrigerator it's a good idea to have parmesan cheese, mozzarella cheese, cream cheese, tub margarine, sour cream, fresh fruit that is in season at the time, salad ingredients, any fresh vegetables of the season, pickles, eggs and skim milk. You can keep some fruits and berries, bread, and some pastries in the freezer in case you run out of fresh food on occasion and need something to go with dinner. You can also keep some canned vegetables around in case the fresh ones aren't available. Thanks for watching. Welcome to Master Health Media channel. Subscribe, hit the bell icon, make a comment, share. Please and thanks. Take care and stay healthy. Blessings.